What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. So Rule Edge is back, baby. We are using it today, rocking out with it on the casual ladder, trying it out on this Regulation H team. Now, when it comes to Rule Edge, I believe it to be one of the dopest Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet. Out of all the Generation 9 Pokemon, I think it is up there in my top three. This one has Flash Fire, rocking the clear amulet with the Grass Terror type, which works so perfectly with that Flash Fire ability. On top of that, it has an amazing move set of Bitter Blade, Shadow Sneak, Sword Stance to set up and protect. Now, in previous formats before Regulation G and Regulation F, I think it was, Cerulech was actually really good. We've seen a set pretty similar to this with Sword Stance, Flash Fire, and Bitter Blade to boost your attack kind of not take a lot of hits and then just like recover HP with Bitter Blade. And it worked out really well. A lot of people were using it and again, it was thriving. So we're trying it again today. I think Shrew Edge will be a viable option in Regulation H. Hopefully we can grab some wins for you guys today. But the other Pokemon that we were rocking out with on today's team, we got Nine Tails to set the sun. Plus it's pretty good with the will o -Wisp and Hal Boost for physical attack stats. Then we got Rillaboom, Murkrow, Gyarados, and Sylveon. Murkrow going to be top tier on the supporting side. Rillaboom doing Rillaboom things. Gyarados going to be able to intimidate and do big time damage with Terra Blast and Waterfall. And Sylveon doing big damage on the special attacking side with that Throat Spray, Hyper Voice, Weather Ball, Yawn, and Protect. You guys, want to run the team for yourself? The mouth code, obviously, in the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match, showcasing Surreal Edge on this Regulation H team. First match coming at you guys, and we are going up against an Iron Crown team. They also have Greninja, Haxor, Superior, Conklador's Pre-Evolution, and then on top of that, Toxic Pack. So, I think they got Conklador's Pre-Evolution, maybe rocking the Evo Light, or I, I don't know. That's the only reason I could think of it. But this team looks like we can kind of just like maybe set up Swords Dance here and kind of just steamroll through it with Surreal Edge. So, that's kind of what I'm hoping to do. So, I'm going to end up going into him and probably Rule Boom just so I can fake out turn one, kind of get that control. I'm all about it. So we're going to go Surreal Edge. We're going to go Rillaboom in the back end. We are going to go... Sylveon's not bad here. Sylveon's pretty good, but... um, Yeah, we're going to go Sylveon. And on top of that, do we go Ninetales just to set that weather? The weather would not be bad. Hmm. Yeah, I don't mind Ninetales here. With Weather Ball and Helping Hand Howl. I'm cool to go into it. I do like that. Yeah, let's lock this one in. Let's lock it in. Let's look for a win here in match number one. But I've been watching the Pokemon World Championships. Let me know in the comments if you guys have been watching the World Championships and like what teams or what players you guys have uh, been rooting for. But yeah, it's been awesome so far. I just watched day one, day two starts in a little bit. As you guys know, I record these videos a day in advance. So I'm about to be watching day two. After I finish recording this, I pretty much just have it up on stream and kind of go about my day, go hit the gym, all that good stuff, while Pokemon World Championships is running. But yeah, dude, I've been loving it. I, I watched it a little bit last year, but this year I definitely want to get into it more and uh, really, like, watch it fully. So I, I think this year my, my goal is to just, like, watch more competitive Pokemon, whether it be, like, regional, international levels, and definitely the World Championships. So I watched all of Worlds Day 1, and I, I, I'm going to be watching all of Days or Worlds Day 2 and 3, so it's going to be a lot of fun for me. But who'd they end up leading here? I didn't even see. I was talking about Pokemon Worlds. Superior and Greninja. So, I mean, I could Terrasilize here. I don't think there's a point of me Terrasilizing. I think I just Sword Dance here. And I fake out the Greninja. Just so a water move doesn't attack me. So there goes Fake Out. He's going to flinch. And he's going to go for a Glare. Oh, you glaring me? You glaring me? Alright, so a little Superior Glare there. Not a bad play, putting up the Paralyze, but um, I'm really banking on right now me not being Paralyzed because I'm just going to try to Grass Glide and take out this Frail uh, Greninja and then Bitter Blade across here and take you out. I could play it safe and just like Terrasilize, but I'm going to save my Terra. I'm going to save my Terra. I I have full faith in my Rillaboom to not be Paralyzed. See? That's my, that's my dog. That's not my dog. One HP is U-Turn out here. Okay, luckily he's going for U-Turn. Wow, that got scary for a second. That got real scary. Oh my lord, living on one HP. Really hurts the soul. I do have Shadow Sneak to deal with that Grace guy later, but uh Shred should outspeed Superior, and we should just be able to pick up the KO and just absolutely merc on it. Here comes Iron Crown as well. Iron Crown with the booster energy. Special attacks heighten, that's pretty good for us. And you're gonna be able to glare me. Oh my lord, this thing's outspeeding. It's paralyzing. I don't like this. I simply don't like this. Bitter Blade is landed though, which is huge. We can say bye-bye to you. Of Swords Dance plus two. 
Oh my lord, double paralyzed. Really hurting the soul here. Maybe I should have just uh faked out the superior turn one. Jeez, man, I hate being paralyzed. I hate it, but let's see who they go into. They go into Haxus here. I mean, I have Sylveon in the back end. If I can just, you know, get after this thing. I really would like where we're sitting. So I'm gonna try to U-turn pivot out of here. I'm gonna go for a bitter blade. I don't think Thrasilis is gonna be a play. I mean psychic and steel along with dragon typing. Sludge kinda defends pretty well here. Kinda defends pretty well with its ghost and fire type. So there's no there's no need to uh, pop a Terra. I'm just gonna try to U-turn out, maybe try to land another bitter blade, that could be good. I'm trying to think of like Iron Crown's terror type. A lot of them are water, right? Yeah, oh, if you go water here, that could be bad. Oh, it's gonna be water. It's water. I'm in trouble. Please be Haxorus. It's Haxorus, okay, cool. Ask and you shall receive and, ooh, we weren't, we weren't ready for that. We simply weren't ready for that. Our sword is gone, isn't he? He's a goner. He's a goner. He's gonna scale shot me. Actually, I can still go scale shot. I thought it was gonna be Terra Blast. Are you loaded dice? You're definitely loaded dice. And Terrakion gonna double down into me? Please no Terrakion. If Terrakion doesn't double down into me, I bitter boy KO and I get go back to like full HP. This thing's defense dropped, its speed is gonna go up. He does not double down, yo. We just need to not be paralyzed. And I have an odd feeling both my Pokemon are gonna be paralyzed here. Real odd feeling. Real boom's not. That's good news. You turned us respectable damage with that defense drop. And Cerule Edge, come on! Bitter blade up! Need you to bitter blade up, because we're going right into you. Actually, we're gonna go into Nine Tails here. We're gonna go into Nine Tails just to boost that weather. This bitter blade and no paralyze would be amazing here. Come on, Cerule Edge. I love you, Cerule Edge. This is why we're showcasing you today. This is why we're showcasing you today. Absolutely dumped on you. Get that critical hit. You were dead regardless. The crit didn't matter. And look at his HP. Back up to 133. Come on, man. That's too easy. That's too easy. All right. So chances are he's going to want to rip another skill shot in this ledge. If I had to guess, right? If I had to guess. I mean, you have Greninja. I could Shadow Sneak Greninja and just KO it. Or I could protect. Which I'm thinking of doing. Keep my Surreal Edge alive and throw in a Will-O-Wisp across here. Or I can just go for Weather Ball and probably pick up the KO. Now we're going to play it smart. We're not going to Thrasilize. We're just going to Will-O-Wisp. There's no need for us to Thrasilize. We're playing it smart here. Nice little Protect on the Surreal Edge. Good thing we weren't paralyzed. Really good thing we're not paralyzed. And Water Shrekin is going to come across here and attack the Ninetales. And chances are Scale Shot's going into the uh, Surreal Edge like last room. But Water Shrekin going to do like negative damage because it's in the sun. There's a scale shot. We block it up. And can we land the Will O Wisp? Go ahead, Nine Tails. Add a girl. Add a girl, Nine Tails. Big time burn on a physical attacker. True Blood should be able to eat up a scale shot now. I can now go into a Shadow Sneak into the Great Ninja. Finish that off if we're not paralyzed. And then go into a Weather Ball, which we actually might end up KO in this, uh, this Haxorus. I'm more so looking for the sweep. Really want the sweep here. Really wants to sweep, so we'll go for Shadow Sneak with some priority. We will go for Weather Ball. We're looking for the double KO here. We're looking for the win. There's Water Shrekken again doing like negative damage. Such a cool move though. Like I love seeing the uh, Shrekens fly out in the air. Looks so dope. Look at him. Oh my god, he's just saucing. Awesome. Actually, did some nice damage. Four times hit. That's why. Shadow Sneak on a launch. Bye bye, Greninja. And can Weather Ball do the job? Actually, he's going to go first. You might be able to KO. Shrewl Edge, let's see. He goes for Guillotine. First, or one hit KO misses. Thank the Lord. I want the sweep. Weather Ball now launches. For the win? For the win. Not just for the win. For this sweep. So, match number one. Going to me and my Shrewl Edge. We sweep it out. Let's go hop into our second. Moving on to our second match. And we're going up against another weird odd team that could definitely do some damage. Espanther, who we actually seen in previous formats. Rock and Speed Boost doing a lot of work. We got Miascarada, Primarina, Excadrill, Sandy Shocks, and last but not least, Orangaroo. I like setting up Surreal Edge here again. I feel like it would be a good position for us to go into. They go Primarina or Extra. We would just Terrastalize into Grass. So that works out well for us. Um, Real Boom's nice. Just Fake Out gets set up again. So yeah, we're going to do that. And... For late game, or back end to Pokemon. Gyarados looking pretty good, as long as we don't bring Sun, right? 
Yeah, I'm gonna go Gyarados here. And last but not least, Sylveon. Hmm, do I really want Sylveon? Yeah, we're gonna go Sylveon. We're gonna go Sylveon here. I mean, they do have two Steel-type Pokemon, but with Cerule Edge, we can kind of cover that weakness right there and just have Sylveon kind of dump on things like Miascarada, so that could be good for us. But we also have Intimidate with Gyarados. So, I feel like we have a lot of different options to kind of win this match, but I'm looking to do the same thing. We're looking just to set up this Cerule Edge Bitter Blade out. That's what it did last match. The Paralyze kind of negated a lot of what we went through. Like, we could have cleaned up that match a lot quicker, but that Glare with the Paralyze just really did us dirty. We ends up going Sandy Shocks alongside with Espathra. Yeah, we're gonna go Sword Sands here. Um, I'm gonna fake out the Sandy Shocks, correct? Is that correct? This thing's gonna boost energy up. Yeah, he's definitely... He's definitely getting faked out with that speed boost. Do I just attack it? Nah, we're still just gonna Sword Sands here. Sword Stance into Fake Out. Then I can always just like Grassy Guy next turn into Sandy Shocks. Maybe even Wood Hammer Protect. Ends up protecting Sandy Shocks. Show me a double protect. Show me a double protect. Cool. All day. I'll take it. So that's a free Sword Stance. That's a free Sword Stance for us. Cool, cool, cool. A little double protect action. Um, He's gonna see Cerule as a big threat right now. And with their speed, they might even double down the sludge. So what I'm really planning on doing here is probably just protecting sludge, letting them attack sludge, and at this point we would just go for wood hammer and look to just dump on sandy shocks. That's really what I'm liking. So chances are, whenever you set up like sword sand, dragon dance, like calm mind or something, people like to target down that Pokemon. See, look at that. They're like, hey, that's a threat. I'm gonna target it down. So we're just gonna protect up and, and allow our other Pokemon to really get after it. Yep, there's a double down. That's easy. That's light work. That's a big time protect. Now my boy Rillaboom over here. Gonna drop a massive wood hammer, say bye-bye to Sandy Shocks, get on our face. Dude, that's a hot, that's a hot turn for us. It's a real hot turn for us. That's as hot as a turn can get. Red hot. Now, I might double down into S Pather here with Shadow Sneak and Grassy Glide. I might just do that because Shadow Sneak plus two stab. With Grass Guide, should KO. I mean, Primarina's on the field. Might as well Terrasilize in the grass now. And yeah, let's do it. Let's double down to Espathor with these two moves. Two first turn priority moves. We're going to try to take it out before it can even attack us. And then we'll just have Cerule Edge and Rillaboom chilling here with the Grass Terror type. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I'm reading this match really well. As long as this Espathor doesn't protect, which I don't think it protects, right? And I, I don't think it protects at all. And he's going to Terrasilize. I think that's going to be Primarina. Please be Primarina. Yeah, okay, cool. It's Primarina. And he's going to go into a Poison. So Primarina thinks we're attacking that thing with Grass Guide when, in reality, we're doubling down to that Espathor. We want that thing going. Especially with all those speed boosts. Yep, and it doesn't protect. Grass Guide does nice damage. Shadow Sneak going to finish it off. Everything working perfectly. Ripping right now. We are ripping. Reeds are on point. Primarina's probably going for a Hyper Voice. He's gonna go for a Terra. Can you soak this? Okay, okay, Rilla. I see you, Rilla. I see you, Rilla. Let's see who their final Pokemon is. Oranguru. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it at all. I'm gonna go for a Bitter Blade. I think maybe just like swapping you is probably our best bet. So we'll Bitter Blade here. And I think maybe swapping into like Gyarados or even Sylveon here. Now, nah, because if we go for a Poison move, that could be a little tough for us. I mean, Intimidate really not going to do much, but we do have Citrus Berry. And I kind of want to sweep. Not going to sit here and sugarcoat it. I want to sweep. Honestly, I probably should have protected Cerule Edge and U-Turn out because I do believe this, uh, this Oranguru to go for Follow Me. Or not this Oranguru, this, uh, Primarina to attack my Cerule Edge. But we're out speeding regardless, so Bitter Blade might just KO. Come on, man. What is that? 1 HP Bandit? Come on now. Luckily, they're still going after Gyarados. This is a great swap for us. We're able to soak. Not down to half. And he pops a Trick Room. So Shadow Sneak's going to finish off this uh, Primarina. Come on, man. 1 HP? Yeah, to be kidding me. So I'll do that. Um, he could go for follow me. Honestly, I just want to go for a bitter blade here. Actually, let's do this. 
We know you're going for Terror Blast and Destroy Edge. Like, it's pretty obvious. She's gonna go for a Waterfall here. And oh no, you protect. So I do that. I protect. I'm trying to sweep. I pretty much have this match on lock to win it all. My problem here is like a rank we're going for like follow me. He's gonna go for a foul play. He's looking he's looking to attack me here. I wouldn't be surprised if he doubles down in this rule edge. I could swap it, but what I swap into Sylveon. Not a good call for us. So he wants HG back. And from here, we're just gonna launch a bitter blade in this slot, and on top of that, go for waterfall in Primarina. If I die, I die. We're trying to get the sweep. There's a Hyper Voice. We should soak that, no problem. As long as we can soak up a Foul Play too here. It'd be nice. I right, do got that Citrus Berry healing up a nice bit of HP. Go back up to 131. It's huge. And this thing is going to be Hyper... Or not, not Hyper Voice. Uh, Third Spray. Because that's Special Attack boost. He's going to Instruct again. Alright, that's fine. We should we should sweep here. We should sweep. Even being plus one, both my Pokemon soak rather well. Both resist these water moves. And out comes Waterfall to finish off Pre. Alright, so Primarina gone. Bitter Blade should be able to finish off this Orangaroo. And we're going to have back-to-back -back sweeps with Cerule Edge. What more can you guys ask? I'm telling you guys, this Pokemon's going to be legit in Regulation H. Here we go, nice little Bitter Blade. Charge it up. Wapa! Oh, it doesn't even KO. This thing's rather bulky. Always got to remember Orangaroo bulky Pokemon. But Cerule Edge going back up to Umbus full. And I could just protect the Wayside Trick in turns, but this thing's really not doing much. So we'll just spam Waterfall. Spam Bitter Blade, and finally, they cancel match. So 2-0, two, oh, two sweeps. It is time for our final match, and this one is a true test. We're going up against a Zacian team, Zacian, Zacian, whatever you want to pronounce it. I feel like I always pronounce it wrong, and there's multiple different ways that people pronounce it. But we're going up against the Zacian team. They also have Wellspring Ogre Pond, P2, with probably the Evo Light, and then uh, Golden Go, Iron Bundle, and Glamora. So we are 2-0 oh with two sweeps. I'd be very surprised if we can sweep out here in match number three, but how are we playing this one? I mean, Zacian could be the lead here for them, so I could go Gyarados, but they could also lead, like, P2. I mean, Glamora could be, or not Glamora, um, Ogre Pond could be annoying, but I mean, if they do go Ogre Pond, I could just Terra Flying and start ripping. So I honestly do like Gyarados here. And if they lead P2, we can just kind of, like, taunt it. I could go Murkrow here as well. Murkrow has Foul Play, has Sunny Day. Bump, 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 what do I want, what do I want, um... Man, Iron Bundle's scary here as well. I think we just go Rollboom here. Rollboom Gyarados with Cerule Edge and... Uh, do I want Sylveon? Hmm. I think I'd rather have Ninetales. I, I would rather have Ninetales. Sylveon's, Sylveon's good, but like, Zacian's there, Golden Go, Lamora. Yeah, nah, we're not doing that. We'd rather go into Ninetales, maybe throw some burns. Weather Ball can still do big time damage. You got Helping Hand if you need it. Hal as well. I feel like that could be good. I feel like that could definitely be good. Especially if I pair it up with Cerule Edge late game. Get that Sun out there. Bitter Blade does more damage. Helping Hand boosts it. We get back more HP. We do more damage. It all works out well. But they end up going into Glimora and Iron Bundle. Now, Iron Bundle terrifying me. I really hope you don't have Grass or uh, Ghost Terror type. Because what I really want to do here is just... Attack right now. Work drive scaring me. Honestly, I think my play is probably just like protect you this turn. And terrestrialize dragon and just rip into this iron bundle. Dragon's not good though. Dragon's terrible. You know, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna waterfall in this slot. We're gonna go grass guide across here. He's a spiky shield. Are you double protecting here? Are you double protecting? You don't. Grass guide should KO. Oh my lord. What is up with this? I know I should just protect the Gyarados. Gyarados is dead now. Come on, man. I've been leaving Pokemon like real low today. Real low. Bunch of 1 HP bandits. I really. Thought that would KO. That's why I just kept my Gyarados on the field. Um. Ah. All right. I don't want to swords dance here. 
I'm just going to protect him, and I'm just going to go into Woodhammer in this slot. Yeah, I was going to say, we could see a Protect from Iron Bottle this turn. A little switch up here. I'm hoping he's going for, like, Power Gem or Meteor Beam into my Sludge slot. Rather than, like, Sludge Bomb into my... I roll him slot, but Woodhammer should chunk up some nice damage, and it does. We got off some big damage here. I know spikes are out and about. I know spikes are out and about. Well, let's see what this Gamora is going for. It's going to go for Meteor Beam. That's definitely into the Sludge slot, so that's big time for us. We got two Pokemon with first turn priority ready to roll. Ready to roll. This thing's going to get boosted. Um, let me block it. That's nice for us. It's real nice for us. So Shadow Sneak should be able to KO the Iron Bundle. Um, Grass Guy should be able to KO the... Uh... I Honestly, I could read a... Uh, uh, make a play here. Because I'm almost certain... I'm almost certain that Glamora's going to spike his shield. And they're going to let Iron Bundle die out. So I could just Grass Guide here and set up a Story Stance. But I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to play it safe. I knew it. I'm like, what am I doing? Just trust my gut here. Just trust my gut. I gotta just trust my gut here. I gotta just start trusting my gut. That would have been a free Sword Dance play. But I would have just sent the Grass Glider over there and then set up the Sword Dance. It was real simple. It was real simple, Jeans. It was real simple. See, like, that's the crazy part about Pokemon. It's like, you get in your head more so than anything. You really do get in your head more so than anything. Because there's just so many different options. Because, say I would have went for a Sword Dance and that thing didn't protect. Then I'm sitting in a terrible position. So if you get the, it's a, it's a, it's a risk reward kind of play there. It really is. The P2 is going to fly out here. Um, now's a good turn for me to set up Sword Dance and Grass Guide through. Because Grass Guide should still be able to pick up the KO. And P2 not really doing too much. So there's Grass Guide KO. We're going to be able to get off Sword Dance here. A lot of Toxic Spikes on the field. A lot of Toxic Spikes. Uh, P2 could just be going for like an Ice Beam here. Let's see. Yeah, I could have had Sword Sand set up last turn. And I could have just dumped on P2 this turn. And there's the Ice Beam. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. So, Real Boom's going to be able to soak. We have Sword Sand up. Um, so, Real Edge really does work up against Zacian, which is pretty good. And he's going to go into Zacian, which is fine by me. There goes the Interpret Sword. Um... We definitely want to go for a bitter blade launching in that slot. And if I can, I'd rather just double down on this thing. Actually, let's go for wood hammer into P2. Wood hammer into P2. They definitely don't want to pop a trick room. Trick room would just be a problem for him. He's gonna end up going for behemoth blade. You should soak this. It's gonna do some damage. Don't get me wrong, but yeah, you soak it. That's awesome. That's awesome because now wood hammer flies, does big time damage to P2, and bitter blade might be able to KO this Asian. It actually, it should KO. So we should go back to full HP. We should pick up KO. And I do all day, yo. So Rulej getting after it today. I told you guys. This Pokemon is the real deal. Plus it looks super dope. Love this Pokemon. It's a Rulej, baby. Try attack gonna come through here. Please survive it. My three sweeps. I want the three sweeps. Man, we go. We go with two sweeps. I want it three sweeps, man. Real close to it, though. Real close to it. But we bring out our final Pokemon. It is going to be none other than Ninetales. So now we got Sludge in the Sun. I can help hand boost. And they're going to bring out... I don't... Do they have another Pokemon? No. They're, this is our last Pokemon. So we were so close. Actually, no. We weren't close to the sweep. We lost our Gyarados way early in the match. I totally forgot about my boy Gary to Gyarados. But I'm going to go for Bitter Blade here. I am just going to help him hand boost it. They probably cancel. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 3-0 perfect record. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, Cerulege rocking out in Regulation Age, or on the casual ladder, I should say. Ranked Regulation Age doesn't start till September 1st, but we will definitely be back with another Cerulege video once rank drops, because I love this Pokemon so much, and I don't mind showcasing again, considering it did so well in today's video. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me, and if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button, so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.